I think we're an arrogant species. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. We're one of two most arrogant species on the planet. It's us and cats. Yeah. Right? Yeah. She sat through the whole fucking show. I said obscene, ridiculous things to this woman's face. And the cat is where she's throwing the line. <laughs> Let me justify it, right? They're arrogant, right? They just walk around with their tails up, showing everybody their assholes. Like, come on. Yeah, we've all seen assholes before. Put some pants on, have some goddamn dignity. As far as being in control of this planet, we're like teenagers. We haven't been in control very long. We're, we're, we just don't think we can, we can die, right? We're evil kneveling our way through existence right now. Somebody comes up to us and we're like, hey, I know there's this thing in the ground that if we like dig it up and set it on fire, it's like a fuel source and energy, but it seems to be killing everything. Uh, maybe we can use the power of the sun as a source of energy. And they're like, fuck you, Carl, we just down to 40, lit the ramp, here we go, yeehaw, and they're off. It's like we just turned 21, and we're gonna do all the shots at the bar. Just keep it coming, Becky. We're gonna live forever. <laughs> and then you wake up the next morning, find out that you have jaundice of the liver, married the houseplant, and somehow moved to Florida. <laughs> Dinosaurs were the uh, animal that was in charge of this planet the longest, and the Earth got rid of them because they got a little bit too big. Right? <laughs> The Earth looked at them and they were like, hey, dinosaurs, uh, y'all need to go on a diet. <laughs> and the dinosaurs were like, fuck you, Earth, you're not my real dad, okay? <laughs> and then the Earth threw a meteor at them. <laughs> Which is a cool way to go, right? That's a really cool way to go extinct. We ain't going out with that much flair. <laughs> I don't think the Earth is gonna let us have that much dignity in our own extinction. Have you seen the shit we've done to the planet? I would not be surprised if we went extinct in our sleep so that we don't brag about it in the afterlife. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Our arrogance is holding our evolution back, right? And I'm not talking about a physical evolution, right? Physically speaking, we're done evolving and we're a shitty animal physically speaking. Right, sure, we're up on two legs, but we don't have claws. We don't have fangs, but we do have adult baby food so the grown-ups don't get fussy. <laughs> Look at me, I'm wearing glasses right now. You understand in the animal kingdom, I would have been murdered and my eyes would have been eaten first. <laughs> Can't hear worth the damn unless we got headphones in. Physically speaking, we're done evolving. Our evolution is one of thought. It's one of our mind and it's one of our brain. And our brains are by far one of the coolest organs in the known universe. Oh, it's so cool. It's so powerful. It's so powerful that it hasn't figured itself out yet. Damn, how fucking awesome is that, right? It's so awesome that it's allowed us to come up with ideas and concepts that we don't fully understand, but use them like we do. <laughs> That's what the concept of consciousness is. That's what emotions are. That's what the concept of God is. It's an abstract concept. But the only way we can make heads or tails of these things is by giving it a physical entity, right? That's why we need things like Jesus and Vishnu and Jesus and Vishnu high-fiving on a pancake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And that thought right there is why I think atheists, like militant, hardcore atheists, are the most arrogant human beings on the planet. And look, I've met some very nice atheists in my lifetime. These are not the atheists I'm talking about. I'm talking about the atheists that have such a belief and conviction in nothing. And I tell them that I'm agnostic and they look at me and they go, well, you just don't have the balls to commit to nothing. And I look at them and I go, no, I just don't have the arrogance to make that much fuss over nothing. And they always tout science, don't they? But even science knows when to accept it's wrong. Every so often, you'll find a scientist that comes out and is like, uh, I mean, right now, we find evidence that we're going around the sun, but tomorrow, we might find evidence that we're going around, I don't know, Carl. <laughs> Guess we'll find out, see y'all at brunch. <laughs> yeah. 
Right, right now, now we're on the precipice <laughs> of unlimited possibility. And we, we have, have the, the tools, tools in place to understand a very small amount of this unlimited possibility for this minute amount of time we're here on this universe. But that's not what we're choosing to do. We're choosing to narrow our minds and judge each other based on the color of our skin, what imaginary line we cross, who we fuck, what bathroom we use, and we're sure shit gonna do it with Pizza Hut and guns first. Yeah. The universe is not obligated to make sense to us. We're a very small creature, and the bitch of it all is we don't know how big the universe is for us to truly understand how small we are. The truth, my friends, is this. No one's coming to save us. There is no God that's gonna come down on a chariot, which realistically outdated mode of transportation. <laughs> with, the, yeah, with the tax dollars you're saving, right? You'd think they would afford a Bentley or a Prius, <laughs> or at least a used Chevy, you know? There ain't no alien species that's gonna come down and be like, hey, been looking in your asses, and there ain't no solutions up there. <laughs> so we all got your head stuck up there, and that's just creating more problems. <laughs> this is it. This is all we have. It's up to us to start saving each other, and I think we can do it. I think if we can let go of our arrogance, get rid of this self-importance and realize that we're all going through the same shit and start talking to each other and listening to each other, not through fear, but through love and understanding and genuinely start giving a shit about one another, then, and finally then, I think we can start approaching happiness. I really appreciate you guys listening. Thank you so much, guys. Enjoy the rest of your night. Chris Mohan, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>